Hi guys, I have this old Wi-Fi router right here, which I just replaced with this brand new one. And that means I can give this one away, right? But I won't. I have a better idea. I will change this Wi-Fi router into an external access point. Why? Well, because I can. And also then I can put it at the far corner of my home and then connect it to the new one using a network cable or a pair of power line adapters. And that is the best way to blanket my home with Wi-Fi signal. And the ladies, they love a home like that. Trust me. Now some Wi-Fi router have the access point mode and that's easy. Just turn on that mode and you're done. But many routers do not have that mode and this one doesn't either. And that means I have to force it to work in the access point only mode. Essentially disabling its routing function. And here are the steps. First, get a piece of tape and block its one port because you are not going to use this port anymore. Next, you have to figure out the IP address of the existing router, this one right here. Now, it's very easy. Just connect computer to the router using either Wi-Fi or network cable. Now, if the computer is a Windows computer, just run a command prompt and type in ipconfig and press enter. You will see a lot of things. But what follow the default gateway is the IP address of that router. Now, in this case, it is 192.168.1.1. If you have a Mac, just go to System Preferences, go to Network, and then you can easily find out the router's IP address. Again, it's 192.168.1.1. Now, from that IP address, we can deduce two things. Number one, that IP address is taken. It's no longer available. Number two, if you want to add a device to this router here, you would have to give an IP within this range, 192.168.1.2, all the way to 192.168.1.253. Why? That's how networking works. Now in this case, we're going to pick 192.168.1.2 for this router right here. Just remember that and make sure that you will not manually pick that IP address for any other device that connected to this router. Again, we connect the computer to this router and find out what IP address it currently has. So it turns out this one has the 192.168.10.1. Now with the IP address, we can actually open its web interface. Let's do that. In this interface, we're going to go to the network setup part and go to the LAN IP address. And here, we change the IP to the one which is picked earlier, 192.168.1.2. And one more thing, we have to turn off the DHCP server for this old router. Save the changes, and that's it. Now, if you connect the old router here using a network cable to the new router, it will function as an external access point. You can always go back to its web interface by using the new IP address to customize its Wi-Fi network. And that's it, quite simple, but Wi-Fi is now everywhere. And now that you know, be prepared to be very popular. In fact, I'm hiding my office right now because my home is often filled with ladies loving the signals. Or maybe that's just because I'm dumb. Old. But hey, it sure is crazy how sexy Wi-Fi can get.